And Davey Moore, as uh, you mentioned, uh, had a period of inactivity in, in 1985, but is a former champion and uh, hopes that he can somehow get it all back together. And this is a key opportunity for him. There's a look at Davey Moore, and you never know which Davey Moore is going to show up. He's had just 19 pro fights, Gil, but he's had six of them for world titles. Tim, a history of inactivity. He's a very, very strange guy. He's had managerial problems. I guess he creates some of his own problems. I like to see a guy with the ability that he has keep busy. Well, Lupe Aquino, on the other hand, 29-2-1, 21 knockouts. Lesser known from Tijuana, Mexico, now living in Santa Paula, California, has moved himself into the number seven ranking in the World Boxing Council rankings and number eight in the IBF. So for Lupe Aquino, perhaps a little more to lose here against Davey Moore as he has himself well positioned in the top 10. Aquino, 24 years of age, came in at 155. The 27-year-old Davey Moore also at 155. You see a, a reach advantage for Aquino, but uh, probably uh, not a, a particularly significant one as Moore is the taller man. This bout will be governed by the uh, rules of the State Commission here in Nevada, the 10-point scoring system in effect. Three judges will do the scoring, and there's no standing eight count in Nevada. The count continues after the bell, except in the final round, the 10th. And here in Nevada, if you're knocked down three times in any round, that is the end of the fight. So now for the introductions of this first important fight of the evening, let's go up to our ring announcer, Chuck Hull. Ladies and gentlemen, the official is signed by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout of the evening. The judges are Dolby Shirley, Jerry Roth and Dave Moretti. Your referee is Davey Pearl. The next bout of the night featuring 10 rounds of boxing in the junior middleweight division. Introducing in the blue corner, fighting out of the Bronx, New York, weighing in at 155 pounds with a professional record of 16 wins, three defeats with 12 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the sensational Davey Moore. And in the corner, formerly of Mexico City, Mexico, now fighting out of Santa Paula, California. He too weighs 155 pounds. His professional record consists of 28 wins, two defeats, one draw with 20 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Lupe Aquino. Lupe Aquino was scheduled to meet Dwayne Thomas for the WBC Junior Middleweight Championship on this date, this very evening, on the Hagler Leonard card. However, uh, Thomas had to pull out because of injuries to his ribs suffered in training, and uh, so it is against Davey Moore, obviously a non-title fight. And for Moore, as we mentioned, a, a great opportunity. Remember what you were told. And the final, final instructions coming from the referee, Davey, the Davey Pearl. Judges in this bout, Dalby Shirley, Jerry Roth, and Dave Moretti, all from Las Vegas. 24-year-old Lupe Aquino and 27-year-old Davey Moore. Aquino proudly wearing the colors of his country and pretty fancy drawers for the opening bout on this star-studded card at Caesars Palace. It's not going to help him if he can sit on a chin with a right hand, though, Tim. <laughs> Might just get a little dusty on the bottom. Right, step back, step back. He is a good puncher, Aquino. 21 KOs in his 29 victories. Wins over Dio Colome, Steve Heron. The only two losses early in his career to Rudy Hernandez and later to the estimable Marlon Starling. Oh, a solid left landed by Moore. Tim, despite the fact that Aquino has a better record, Davey Moore has been in with much better opposition. He's fought some real tough guys. Back in February of 82, he knocked out Tadashi Mihara to win the WBA junior middleweight crown. A six-round knockout. There's a right hand scored by Aquino. He defended that title three times before losing to Roberto Duran. And Aquino scoring a right to the ear of Davey Moore. A lot of and banging Moore, early. Moore's Moore in trouble. Hoblin. In the Moore corner, Aquino has him in trouble. Tim, he, right. he got nailed again. Another right hand. Up and down from Aquino, mixing his punches well. And Moore trying to get his legs under him and recover here in the early going. Able to grab onto Aquino, able to punch freely, and Moore somehow staying on his feet. Aquino measuring his punches. Still a lot of time in round one. 
punches. They winging punches, Tim. Moore is wobbling. It, combination again by Aquino and another left hook. Just caught him on the nose as he fell backwards. Davey Moore fought just last month on the 11th of March, winning a decision. Took this fight on short notice with the injury to Dwayne Thomas, but was not out of the gym very long. But Aquino obviously ready for this one. Approaching the 30-second mark left in round number one. Watch your head, Aquino can't Moore. miss him with that right hand, though, Tim. Every time he throws the right hand, he nails Davey, Davey Moore, whether it's straight or wide. Moore managed one combination in retaliation, but failed to score with it, and Aquino just keeps banging back. Every punch that Aquino sh uh, throws is a bomb. Body and head. Look at that body shot. Another right to the air, but... Moore manages somehow to stay on his feet. There's blood from the nose of Davey Moore, taking quite a beating in round one. Hold on. Hold on. And there's that wide right hand that he's able to nail him with. Another one underneath, the left hook on the chin. So there's that same wide right hand, Tim. Throws it from left field, and he manages to nail him with it. Let's see this in... Super slow motion, in addition to our telecast tonight. Come on. Now we'll come back with that for you. And you'll be seeing more of it during the course of the evening. Lupe Aquino from Santa Paula, California. Davey Moore from the Bronx, New York, and the former champion who has been in title fights six times. World championship fights in trouble early here. Tim Moore, Moore is going to have to nail Aquino with a good punch to let him gain his respect. Otherwise, Aquino was just walking right through him. He's going to have to nail him. Break it. Step back clean now. Don't punch. Round two scheduled for 10. Davy Pearl, the referee. Davy Moore and goal. And a good combination by Moore. His best of the fight. Hold it up. Step up, step up. Tim, you, you know on. that Davey Moore has the talent, but you can just see that the inactivity it just takes so much away from a fighter. He's in the gym, he's out of the gym. Just can't continue a career that way. Still a little blood from the nose of Davey Moore. You know, boxing with tremendous confidence. And he wobbled Moore in the first round. Aquino is in command thus far. Good right hand by Davey Moore, Tim. Sun sinking slowly behind the Caesars Palace tennis pavilion behind us. And we'll be under the lights for the main event. On Domingo rolled in, upcoming against James Kinchin, an important middleweight bout, and then the big one. All right, Tim, now... Aquino has switched to southpaw. Now, why would he do that? He was doing so well the other way. Now he's back again. Watch your head, Sam. Watch your head, Davey. More leaning in and getting a warning from Davey Pearl to watch his head. A minute to go, round number two. You can see the talent, Tim. Beautiful combination. Fast hands. Come on, punch out. Get that. Aquino with a pretty good grip on Moore was trying to pull out. Oh, they bang heads, Tim. Bump heads there, and we saw enough of that on Saturday afternoon here at Caesars Palace when Donald Curry defended his crown by disqualification against Carlos Santos for headbutting. Aquino complained to Moore that he hit him low. I thought it was right on the borderline. There it is again. Final seconds, round number two. Good solid right hand by Aquino. Good straight right hand by Moore. Well, let's listen to the corner from here. Step to then the I'll tell you. Step to the left. Let me have a moment. There's where they banged heads here in round two. It wasn't a real 
heavy clash, but there's always that danger. And you saw Moore go absolutely straight in, leaning in with his hands down. Odd thing to see. They must have watched the fight on Saturday and between Santos and Curry and thought it was good strategy. He should remember that Santos was disqualified for that tactic, ultimately after several warnings and points taken off. This is round three. Davey Moore, after he won the title, defended three times, and lost it to Duran, and then had another title opportunity for the IBF crown. It was stopped by Buster Drake. And a warning from Davey Pearl to Davey Moore, telling him that he'll take the point away if he uses the head once more. Aquino puts a lot of pressure on him. Oh, good body shots by Aquino. Terrific body shots. Is he a tough guy? Boy, he just plants himself and gets all that leverage into those body blows, but he mixes things up well, doesn't he, Gil? He sure does it. Tim, body and head, and he throws, sometimes he throws his right hand straight, other times he loops it, and it's been very effective both ways. Trained by Abel Sanchez. Sure, he comes into this fight a little disappointed, expecting to be fighting for a world championship against Wayne Thomas, and instead of, you know, just a 10-rounder, but he is on the Hagler Leonard card. And in against a guy that if he beats, he certainly has certified his credentials. Well, Tim, if he beats Davey Moore, he'll have a better shot with uh, Dwayne Thomas. This fight is certainly going to help him. He's fighting in front of a big crowd, and he's fighting a good, tough guy, an experienced guy. Halfway through round number three, Looking around the stands here, I would say that we've got uh, about 14,000 people already in the seats, and they're streaming in even as we speak. Aquino has to be a converted southpaw, Tim, because every time he gets a little confused, he switches to the southpaw style. And I think that's why that right hand is wide when he, w when he wings it wide the way he does. Under a minute to go in round three, and I think the punching power of Aquino has taken some effect on Moore as he has his mouth a little more open than he did in the early going. The first couple of rounds. Davey Moore has finally earned Aquino's respect, Tim. You notice he's not just walking in the way he did in the first round. Now a little jawing going on between the two fighters. Here's that right hand of Moore. Terrific combination by Moore. Aquino just shrugs it off. He says, come on, come on. But in the meanwhile, Moore is doing damage and scoring points. Aquino had the edge in the early part of this round, but he's now let Moore back into it. Moments ago, the arrival of marvelous Marvin Hagler, the middleweight champion, coming into the stadium here, heading toward the dressing rooms and the tennis pavilion behind us. And later, the big one, Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard. This is round number four. Ten round, junior middleweight bout. They each came in at 155 pounds. They beat upon your take of the round over the 154 limit. Tim Ryan with Bill Clancy. Happy to be with you on this closed circuit and pay-per-view telecast of the Hagler Leonard Night at Caesars Palace. Tim Moore's experience against the better class of fighter is starting to show show up now. He's uh, he's conning Aquino, making a miss, hitting with combinations, working in and out. He's taken a lot of that macho away from Aquino. Seems to be at his best when he can get close enough to be absolutely flat-footed, and then he really wails away with those body shots. He's given him less opportunity for that. Moore, 
do a much better, Tim, if he moves side to side. Try to counter punch. Let Aquino miss those wide punches. Hold it up. Hold it up. by Davey Moore. And as we said, he has the talent. If he'd only work at his trade. Look at these combinations. Moore rallying tremendously here in the fourth round. Watch your heads now. Come on now. Come on now. Definitely a slow down up. Aquino as the keen eye of our commentator Gil Clancy picked up a minute ago. <laughs> Now he's boxing southpaw again, Tim. And use your imagination and think you see marvelous Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> Aquino is the southpaw, the plotter, the guy that moves in, and Davey Moore's the kind of, kind of guy that throws combinations the way he just did then. That was Leonard-like, you're right. At least the old Leonard. We'll see whether the new Leonard still can do that. Under 30 seconds we go in round four. Looks to me as if Aquino has made up his mind to work every other round. <laughs> yeah, so far. That's the way my scorecard reads as well. Should be an 11 round fight. Round number four, a good one for Davey Moore, who did most of the work and scored the effective punches. Lupe Aquino uh, definitely, in the first minute of that round, Gil, as you uh, indicated, seemed to suddenly be settled down by the punching of Davey Moore. He stopped punching himself. You can't wait out there on him. You gave that round away. What? See a big right hand right down the middle by Davey Moore. There it is, Tim. Right down the pipe. In super slow-mo. Get down there. Let's get down, my brother. Let's go. Let's go over there. Let's go. A little rising confidence in the Moore corner after he was punished badly in round number one. But he looks so much more confident and settled in here against Lupe Aquino as trainer Johnny Purcell giving him encouragement. Right out with a good left hook. It's amazing how this comeback of Moore. Well, it was amazing he didn't fall down in round one, Gil, because he was certainly in position to be knocked down. He just refused to go. Got hurt Don't against him. He just got hurt again with a good body shot. Here goes those combinations again. This is Aquino's uh, turn to pick up the pace. Watch your head. You're right, we may need an 11-round fight to determine the winner if they keep trading them. <laughs> Uppercut lead by Aquino, and he landed it. That was Moore's fault, Tim. He stayed right there and waited to get hit. And he got, and he got bubble hit. again. Again, Casino, Aquino, when he can stand there, he gets great leverage. As you point out, Moore's allowing him to do that. Watch your elbow. Watch your head. Watch your head. No. Watch yeah. your Aquino had him hurt, Tim. He hasn't thrown a punch in the last 15 seconds. That's why cornermen all look old after a while. <laughs> you mean that gray hair of yours came prematurely from that kind of activity? I don't want to mention where that gray hair came from. <laughs> Hello there, Bertel. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aquino with a good flurry inside and a straight left landed. And a good combination of the chin of Davey Moore. Hold it up. Get out. Again, tribute to Moore's conditioning from his recent fight. As again, he's Tim, his, 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 right, his right eye, his right eye is virtually closed now, though, Tim. Davey Moore's right eye. They're going to have to do some job in the corner. Now Moore walking in as Aquino takes a rest. They take turns. But Davey Moore now has that facial damage, Tim. A serious injury. A lot of swelling around the left eye. The right eye, pardon me, of uh, Davey Moore. Get 
been in an ultra corner. And now Davy Pearl is going to have the doctor. It'll be Flip Romanski coming up to examine Davy Moore's eye. Hey. I'd like to see them give the cornerman a chance to get rid of that swelling. Rather than stop it here, but they're going to. Well, Gil, you make a good point. They may have uh, allowed the cornerman to do something with that at the end of the round, but in the doctor's judgment, Flip Bomanski, uh, he obviously feared uh, further danger and the fact that Davey was fighting with only one eye for the remainder of this round. So the fight has been stopped, and Lupe Aquino no need for you to go out there. With a fifth round TKO, the number seven ranked WBC junior middleweight with an important victory for him. He was scheduled to fight for the title tonight against Wayne Thomas, but he has to settle for what was an impressive win against Davey Moore for the stoppage here in the fifth. Well, Gil, I'd like you to, uh, to elaborate on whether you thought Dr. Homansky's judgment was correct here. Well, Tim, if in fact he couldn't see out of that out of that right eye and the doctor was worried about him not being able to see punches that's when you can really get hurt when you get hit with a punch that you can't see however if it was near the end of the round and in other words i'm talking like a corner man i'd be praying that i could get the guy back in the corner use the end swell on it and see if i could get rid of that swelling if not then you'd have to stop it all right gil well now let's go up uh, for the official announcement from chuck hull ladies and gentlemen Referee Davey Pearl stops the bout at two minutes, 18 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by a TKO, Lupe Aquino. All right, Lupe Aquino is the winner here on a technical knockout as Davey Moore is I closed and Dr. Flip Omansky uh, feeling that his vision so badly impaired he could not allow him to continue. So Lupe Aquino is the fifth round winner here over Davey Moore. And now as we have this pause, let's take you up top to our host, Jim Hill. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. So I tell you, we got off to a bang as Lupe Aquino defeats uh, Davey Moore right there. And we're going to have an interview coming up in just a couple of moments with Donald Curry, who is the USBA middleweight boxing champion. A little while ago, you saw during the fight, you saw marvelous Marvin Hagler come into the arena to get ready for his super fight bout tonight against Sugar Ray Leonard. Well, Ray is already here. He and his handlers are there. And there's a look at the challenger, Sugar Ray Leonard. Quiet, pensive. Throughout most of the week, he has been extremely quiet. He usually is the more quotable of the two fighters. But this week, he says he doesn't want to do a lot of talking. He just wants to be quiet. He, they tell me, Angelo Dundee told me he was like a caged tiger. He was like a fox. And that's, a, that's going to be his theory for this afternoon and his procedure. That's the only way he feels he's going to be able to defeat marvelous Marvin Hagler, and that is to really outbox him. So Sugar Ray Leonard is already here. The principals are here for the super fight coming up a little bit later on this evening. And I will have an interview with Donald Curry, the USBA middleweight championship, the champion coming up in just a couple of moments. But right now, let's go back to the ring. Once again, here's Tim Ryan. All right, Jim, I'm here with Lupe Aquino, who has just scored an impressive win over Davey Moore. And uh, you were uh, hoping uh, tonight to be boxing for the world championship. What were your feelings uh, when you knew that it would not be for the title and that instead you were going to meet Davey Moore? Well, it was really uh, a downer for me because I was uh, really expecting to uh, Dwayne Thomas not to pull out, but uh, I don't blame him for uh, for pulling out of the fight. As you can see, I'm a strong fighter, and uh, he, he knows that uh, he's in for a fight. Well, perhaps now uh, your uh, opportunities uh, may even be for the other titles. You've uh, kind of opened up things with a win over Davy Moore. Yeah, well, I want Davy Moore, and uh, there's rumors going around. I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, Thomas that we might be a fighting in France. Uh, I hope the next fight will be with uh, Dwayne Thomas. I know he's somewhere around here. All right, it seemed for him. It, it seemed that uh, you were kind of trading rounds the way the fight went. Uh, it looked like you might have more out of there in the first round, and yet he came back strongly in the second. You seemed to relax him. What What was your thinking? Well, I kind of wanted to go a little bit around. So as, as you've seen, uh, uh, my uh, last fights, I've just gone uh, two rounds and a uh, couple of five rounds. Uh, I wanted to go the distance that way. I know that uh, 
that uh, in case if I go and did to somebody else, I know I'll be, <laughs> well, you know? <laughs> That's a very confident point of view against a man I as I experienced that. as Davey Moore. <laughs> Obviously, you did. But let's uh, go back into some of the action here. One of the things that I commented, uh, commented on was that you seemed to be at your best when you could stand flat-footed and get that terrific leverage, and Moore was right there for you. You know, I'm pretty strong when I'm flat-footed and setting my punches. Uh, Davey Moore, he's a tough fighter. You got to give him a lot of trade. He took a lot of punches. Uh, I thought he was going to corner in that first round, but as you can see, he's, he's a top-rated uh, fighter, and, uh, you know, he's in the top ten. I mean, what do you expect? Well, and six world championship fights to his credit, too. Well, congratulations to you, Lupi, as we watch the uh, end of this. We want to try and get Davey in here because it was an unfortunate finish for him uh, with the eye and uh, un, uh, not allowed to continue by Dr. Romanski. But we'll look forward to seeing you in your title fight. Showtime. Thank you. Thank you. Lupe Aquino, can, can we ask uh, Davey to come over here? Davey, you have had a lot of bad luck in an awfully short career. I'm not suggesting when I say bad luck that your opponent may not have been the better man tonight. He did a good job. We had the fight close going into this. You were kind of trading rounds, and then suddenly your eye goes closed. Well, I figured they should have kept the fight going. How are you going to stop a fight from a swollen eye? This ain't no cut or nothing like that. I told the doctor I still could see. I could beat this guy. Now, how are they going to stop a fight like that? Come on, this is the most important fight. My career right now, I'm trying to get back to the title shot. They're going to stop a fight on a swollen eye. I'm a world-class fighter. Well, Dave, it's interesting uh, that uh, Gil Clancy, uh, my fellow commentator, made the point that as a corner man, he would hope that uh, you'd have a chance to get back there and, and Johnny could have worked on the uh, swelling and brought it down. However, the doctor's uh, view would be that, uh, that you uh, couldn't see uh, with uh, that eye and would be a one-eyed fighter. They didn't give me a chance. I told them I could see. I said, put out, put out many fingers up that you want to. And I can, I can do it. That left hook right there, that's the one that really closed it. But I still can see, I'm telling you. Put your finger up now. I can see how many fingers you got up. They should have gave my, my corner man. They, have, they didn't have confidence in my cut man, Don Nelson, to see if I can come back out for the next round, see what I can do. Well, I can beat this guy. Uh, of course, the boxing commissions everywhere are much more safety conscious, uh, Davey, and that's probably part of it. And, and you may world, be the beneficiary ultimately. I understand, I understand, pal, and, and uh, you did receive that. That sympathetic viewpoint from uh, from Gil Clancy, but we know you'll be back. We've seen it before, and you looked good while you were gone. And credit to Lupe Aquino. It looks like he deserves a title shot. Well, he's a good fighter. He hit harder than I thought he did. Uh, little throw me off a little bit, but I was ready to get warm by six, seven, eight rounds, nine rounds. I'm gonna burn him out of there. Give me a chance. All right, Davey. Good luck to you next time around. Davey Moore, former world champion, and uh, an exciting, although brief, contest against Lupe Aquino. And the winner here with a fifth round TKO, Lupe Aquino from Santa Paula, California, over Davey Moore. The first of three exciting bouts you'll be seeing here tonight on our closed circuit telecast live from Caesars Palace with a big one to follow. Hagler and Leonard. Right now, let's return to you.